You know, the developments continue to change each and every moment. In fact, today we find out, of course, that the first person uh, in the state of Michigan has died of coronavirus, and now we continue to explore how we can protect the people in our community. And so Dr. Adam Rosh, uh, who has uh, been an ER doctor for many years and now is a consultant, joins us now uh, to talk about what we can do. And Dr. Rosh, it's good to see you even during these uncertain times. That's right. Good to be here, Ruth. Let's talk about what people should be doing right now. You've been watching carefully what people are talking about and what people are doing. Uh, as a doctor, right away, what are some of the red flags that you'd like people to address right away? Look, if people want to really do their part, people talk about contributing to helping. And the number one thing that we could do right now is physically distancing ourselves, good hygiene, and staying home. These three things together are going to limit or reduce the spread of this virus. As everyone could see, the predictions, the modeling of this virus going unabated is happening right now. And because all of these numbers are lagging measures, what we are doing right at this moment isn't really felt until a week, two weeks, three weeks from now. And that's why it's so critical that people are socially distancing or physically distancing themselves and doing the right things. We need people of all ages. And you're gonna see there's reports coming in. It started in Italy and it's in Europe and now in the United States that younger populations are now suffering more of the greater effects of this virus right now. Let's talk about that for a moment because everybody, uh, of course, initially heard that it was the people who were immunocompromised and the elderly that had to be especially concerned in terms of this being fatal. But you're saying that we're seeing now that there are younger people out there that need to pay attention as well. That's right. This isn't uncommon in a pandemic where the elderly or individuals who have the poorest health are the ones who succumb or die first. And as the pandemic spreads, slowly there's a drift to lower populations, to younger populations. And we don't know for sure, but there's enough to know at this point that this is serious whether you're 20, 40, or 80 years old. And it's going to require the entire population to contribute, to do their part, and to not do it may, when things get a little worse, they need to do it right now. The immediacy that you bring to us, Dr. Rosh, is the reason that we have you on right now, because I think some people out there may think, oh, well, I'm just gonna go out there, I'm perfectly healthy. They need to think about everybody in this world, in their community, and in the region, because this stuff spreads quickly, and we know how now, so therefore we know how to prevent it. So Dr. Rosh, we thank you for your time. We'll be checking in with you again in the coming days. You bet, Ruth. Thank you.